today's question is the order of plus i effect that is inductive effect and hyper conjugation effect same in these three groups ch3 cd3 and ct3 before going into the actual discussion i would like to mention that please have a look in the description box below where you will find all the links for playlist uh, related to different topics so first we will see <coughs> individually what is plus i effect and what is hyper conjugation effect now details of hyper conjugation effect if you want to get for that you can watch the previous video that i have uploaded and for that you can click on the link appearing on the screen so let's see first what is plus i effect it is the polarization of a sigma bond that is electron density that is present in the sigma bond that will be shifted towards a particular direction so that is the polarization there will be partial positive charge generation and partial negative charge generation now it is because of the donating effect of adjacent groups or atoms that are attached to a chain of atoms and generally we take carbon chain because this effect we mostly discuss in organic chemistry so here you can see this four carbon chain where in the right hand side terminal position there is methyl group now methyl group it has plus i effect now for the next three carbon there will be actually some groups but details we don't need here just focus on the carbons as ch3 has some plus i effect so it will donate electron density through this sigma bond that is present between two carbon atoms and there is partial positive charge generation over this carbon and gradually as we are moving towards left hand side you can see different Neg partial negative charges are present so this is polarization in the sigma bond and this is plus i effect now what is hyper conjugation effect it is the stabilizing interaction of sigma electrons of ch bond of an alkyl group that is directly attached to an atom of unsaturated system not always unsaturated system it may be also attached to some uh, vacant p orbit so here you can see we have carbocation positive charges present over carbon this p orbital it is actually vacant fine now this ch3 group that is present here so these three hydrogens are basically alpha hydrogens because this carbon is alpha with respect to this carbocation the position of this carbon is alpha so these three hydrogens are alpha hydrogen so when you have this type of uh, that is ch bond that is carbon hydrogen alpha hydrogen present just beside the, that is adjacent to carbocation then what will happen the sigma electron that is present in this carbon hydrogen bond that will interact with this vacant p orbital now it is not just for carbocation first we will see for carbocation so here the same picture we have here if you break this ch bond this is the interaction if you break this ch bond now h plus that is present in the proximity of this newly generated cc double bond now it may be also like this that is if i write this ch3 just beside any unsatur unsaturation sorry unsaturation that is cc double bond so in this case also if we break this ch bond there will be negative charge over this carbon so now it will be h2c this is newly generated double bond and negative charge here fine so both these processes we can see there is hyper conjugation effect so there is obviously difference these two processes are not same in the first case it is occurring within uh, sigma bond and in the second case sigma electrons present in ch sigma bond that is interacting with some unsaturated system or maybe vacant p orbital so the difference between these two inductive effect explains the transmission of an electric char electrical charge through a chain of atoms okay that we have seen here so here the direction of plus i effect from ch3 it is going from right hand side to left hand side so this is transmission of an electrical charge through a chain of atoms so as uh, we will move from right hand side to left hand side gradually the effect will decrease fine but hyper conjugation explains the interaction between sigma and pi bonds that means the electrons that is present in this carbon hydrogen sigma bond that is now interacting with this unsaturated system 
Now this plus I effect and hyperconjugation effect if we compare. Plus I effect is always less influency or you can say it is weaker than the other effect, hyperconjugation effect. So when these two effects we will consider, that is when you will solve any problem and we have to compare some facts, then we have to keep it this fact in mind that hyperconjugation that will always win over this plus I effect. Okay. Now the actual question that is these three groups CHT, CD3, CT3. In these three groups, if we compare plus I effect, hyperconjugation effect, whether these two are same or not. Now here hydrogen, deuterium, and tritium, these three are isotope to each other. Fine. Now, as we are moving from H to D to T, basically what is happening? The isotope it is becoming more heavy, more heavy, right? Now lighter the isotope, that means hydrogen is lightest. When it is lightest, bond vibration will be maximum. Now when bond vibration is maximum, that is if you can consider carbon hydrogen bond vibration, that is maximum for CH bond. So what happens now? Availability of electrons for donation that will become less because of high vibration. So because of this, the inductive effect order, it is maximum for the heaviest isotope, which is T. So CT3 maximum, then CD3, then CST. This is the inductive effect order. But when it is hyperconjugation, now what is the order? Now the order is the heavier the isotope because of this less vibration, because these two are oppositely related. When it is light isotope, bond vibration high. When it is heavier isotope, then vibration will be less. So now when it is less, the electrons will be closer to carbon atom for a longer time. Sorry, it will be electrons. Electrons will be closer to carbon atoms for a longer time. Now, when it is closer to the carbon atoms for longer time, now the bond strength order is like this. Okay, so CT bond, we cannot break it easily. So, as we cannot break it easily because of this reason that it is closer to the carbon atom. Now, why we are discussing about bond strength? Because when you are considering hyperconjugation, you have to break the carbon hydrogen bond or CD bond or CT bond that means CT bond breaking this bond we cannot break so easily because of this order so that is the reason now hyper conjugation it, its order will be reverse that you have seen in case of plus I effect so now as you can easily break CH bond so hyper conjugation will be maximum for CST then CD3 then CT3 so these two are opposite so the answer of today's question is basically this order uh, that is hyperconjugation order and plus I effect order for these three groups, they are not same. Fine. Now, one problem if we discuss, then it will help us to understand this uh, difference in order in this uh, group, right? So, see, this problem is saying that which carbocation is most stable. So, here we have some benzyl carbocation and we have CH3 group in option 1 and 3 CH3 group. But this is at 4 position, this is at 3 position. Option 2, option 4, CD3. This is at 4 position, this is 3 position. First we will see, uh, that is focus on 1 and 2 because uh, 1 and 3. Because 1 and 3, it is related to CH3. Now CH3, same group, but position is different. It is 4 and 3. Now when it is at 3 position, at 4 position, if we compare plus I effect, then obviously in case of 3, plus I effect will be more because with distance, sorry, 1. 3 will be having more plus I effect than 1 because with distance plus I effect decreases. But if you consider hyperconjugation, now I am writing H for hyperconjugation, now it is opposite. Now 1 is having more hyperconjugation because in 3 hyperconjugation is not possible. Why it is not possible? I am writing here the first compound. These three hydrogens, that is alpha, uh, here I cannot see it is alpha hydrogen because it is aromatic system, but still you can draw the hyperconjugation structure and how that is possible. So this CH bond, if I break, so after this, now this carbon is neutral, CC newly generated CC double bond. And here we will have 
double bond C H2 and H plus will remain in the proximity. Fine. So see here hyper conjugation is possible, but that is not possible if it is at meta position that is three position. So that is why hyper conjugation effect it is completely opposite. Now the in the previous slide what we have seen hyper conjugation you have to give more preference because, because this effect is stronger. So that is why we will consider this fact. So among one and three, one is more stable. Now what about three, two and four? CD3 and CD3. Uh, CD3 obviously same group, but positions are different, four and three. So when it is two and four, if you consider plus I effect, obviously plus I effect, it decreases with distance. So four will win over two, but if it is hyper conjugation, now it is opposite. And the reason is same because hyper conjugation that is possible from four position. It is also possible from for two position or ortho position, but not three position. So that is why hyper conjugation when we consider it is two greater than four. Now among these two as hyper conjugation, we have to give priority. So ultimately two is winning over four. So here one is winning here two is winning. Now we will compare between one and two among uh, three and four already we have discarded. 2 and 1, if we compare between these two, their positions are same, right? And inductive effect, if we consider, it is more in case of CH3. So 1 should be more stable. Another fact is also there that if we consider uh, hyper conjugation effect, sorry, inductive effect, if we consider CD3 is more uh, having more inductive effect, so that means 2 should be more stable. But hyper conjugation, if we consider, now CH3 is having more uh, that is that effect is high compared to CD3. So that means one will win. So these two are contradictory. Now we have to give more preference to hyper conjugation, not plus I effect. Okay. So that is why ultimately considering all the logic, which will uh, carbocator will be more stable. It is one that will be more stable. So this should be the correct uh, option. So the answer of today's question is, this order of inductive effect and hyper conjugation effect, these two are obviously not same in these three groups, CST, CD3, CT3. I hope this video will be uh, useful for you and I will meet you in the next video. Until then, goodbye.